Hi, sir. Good evening. Hi. How are you today? Yeah, I'm good. By the way, may I know your name, please? <clears throat> you can call me as June. June? Yes. Ah, okay. Are you okay, sir? <laughs> because your voice seems like um very soft and... My voice is like angry. <laughs> oh, why, sir? <laughs> May yeah, I keep going, keep going, keep going, because uh, I just finished my work just ago, uh -huh. and I'm tired, and I don't know why my, my life like this, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, sir. Mm. You, you, you don't have to call me, sir. I'm just your student. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Anyway, what is your job, mm. June? My job is I'm working for a university and I'm some kinds of marketer. Come again, sir. Some kind of. Mm. Market, marketing. Ah, marketing. So yes. what do you do there, sir? I do presentation to high school students and recruit high school students and make some policy to uh, obligation of a freshman. Those things. High schools and uh, middle school? No, no, just high school students. Ah, high school students. How often do you go to uh, your work, Mr. June? Sorry. Is it from Monday to Friday or? Yes, yes, full time job. Ah, full time job. Anyway, how old are you, Mr. June? Uh, I'm 28. 28. Mm. Anyway, um, I have prepared some article, an article. So, are you ready, sir? To, um, I'm gonna send the article, and I would like you to read um the article. Um, this article talks about um dementia, um, some kind of um, an illness. So I'm going to send it to you. Okay. This one. That wow. is the first paragraph. Just give me the link. link. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay. This one. Okay. Can the last other language. The last um, site that I have sent you. Just open the link. Mm -hmm. Yes, I opened it. I just don't know, um, Mr. June, if you are familiar with this, if you are finished with this, but I hope it's not yet finished. So, the title is, Can Learning Another Language Keep Your Brain Healthier? That is the article. <clears throat> Have you opened it? Yes, I opened it. All right, so I would like you to um, read the article first, and then later on we will discuss about it. Okay. A new study shows that being bilingual may delay dementia. Right? Okay. Dementia. Dementia. Dementia by five or more years. Researchers from the University of Edinburgh in Scotland discovered that people who spoke two languages did not show any signs of three types of dementia for more than four years longer than those who were monolingual. 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 Yes. A co 
author, 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 author of the report, Dr. Thomas Bach said, bilingualism can be seen as a successful brain training, contributing to cognitive reserve, which can help delay dementia. This means the speaking two languages keeps the brain in better health and helps mm -hmm. to keep disease like Alzheimer's <laughs> at bay for longer than if someone spoke just one language. <laughs> Dr. Bach's research found that bilingualism and the delaying of dementia had a little to do with social status, gender, occupation, or educational background. Vaccine evaluated the medical records of 648 people from India who had been diagnosed, diagnosed with dementia. Of these patients, 391 advantages, advantages no, 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 no. Were bilingual. Yeah, three ninety one were bilingual or trilingual. And many were Ill illiterate. Dr. Beck wrote the fact that bilingual advantage is not caused by any differences in education is confirmed by the fact that it was also in it, all, it was also found in illiterates who have never attended any school. He suggested that learning a language later in life could keep the brain healthier. He said language learning was socially more enjoyable and it forced your brain to train permanently. All right, so I just want to take note of some um, just pronunciation. Um, mm -hmm. But sir, you have a very good pronunciation, right? No, no, um, you can correct me, yeah. Yes, but I would like to take note of some uh, words by mm -hmm. default because there are still some of um, pronunciation slips like um, L sound and R sound. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, wrote. Say, for example, uh, wrote. By Lord? Root? Bilingual. Bilingual. Lingual. Wow. Um, oh. L sound is U. Oh. That oh. is the sound of L. So bilingual. Bilingual. Background. Background. Oh, with R sound. Road. Mm -hmm. Road. Records. Records. Uh, monolingual. Monolingual. Cool. Yes, lingual. Lingual. Yes, you have a very good pronunciation, but um, keep practicing on your R and L, Mr. Okay. Richard. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, going back to this article, um, what do you understand about the article, Mr. Richard? Uh, article said bilingual or trilingual <clears throat> has more healthy brain what about the word um, dementia or Alzheimer's uh, the diseases that, yeah, that was the mentioned disease, in the disease uh, caused by <clears throat> uh, what was it it caused by brain and if bilingual uh, if someone who can speak more than two languages uh, that pe those people uh, has low possibility to have those diseases uh, yes <laughs> so you mean to say um, mr. June that if you know two or more languages there's a possibility that um, dementia. I mean, you will not suffer from dementia, something like that, or you will right. not, it will slow down dementia. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that, Mr. June? 
Mm. Yeah, I think uh, there are some effect if I. Uh, the, the, I, I think that is uh, studying language is effective to um, to train my brain. So yes, I I, I think this this article is possible. Yes, yes, mm. yes. And aside um from the title itself can learning another language keep your brain healthier so when uh, learning um, a language is a brain training it's a brain training um, what are other ways um, do you do sir to train your brain what are other ways aside from learning from cubic talks what are what are other ways um, do you do for <clears throat> studying English. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? What are other ways um, do you do to train your brain? Aside from uh, train English? my brain. Yes. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, uh, I do not wait training for my brain. Mm -hmm. I don't make muscle <laughs> for my brain. Or maybe that's the same. I don't know well, what is the way to... Uh, or maybe train my brain, but and maybe some <laughs> reading some books or uh, maybe I I should say um to make your brain healthy. Mm, I know <laughs> it. Maybe some <clears throat> eat some walnut. Some wal walnut wal walnut. Ah, you eat ah walnut. What do you mean? Yes. W a l n u t. Ah yes. What will you do with the walnut? <laughs> walnut is very good food for brain. For the brain, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's. <laughs> Come again, sir, because it, it looks like brain. Mm, I see. So aside from, say, for example, learning from learning a, an English language, um, you're going to eat healthy foods like walnut, and you're going to read books. So that is a healthy way in training your brain. Anyway, um, do you have questions, sir, about the article? Before I will give you the your activity. No, I don't have question. <laughs> anyway, there is an activity there. Just scroll down. Um, yeah, teacher, uh, how how about just talk about just just free talking? Ah, okay, it's okay. <laughs> Free okay. talking about the article or anything? No, 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 just, just <clears throat> anything. Because I, I don't usually use textbook or article. Ah. Because I just want to practice uh, talking English. So that is my main purpose. Mm -hmm. So I, it doesn't matter we use textbook or article. Okay. Yes. Mm. Oh, by the way, so, how long have you worked in Cubic Talk? I have just started last Monday. Last Monday? <laughs> yes. Why, why, why did you start this work? Because I really want to um, teach Korean students. Not only Korean students, but also Filipino students. But I do not have um, a license yet to teach in the public school that's why um, I am not yet um, applying in a public school mm. so you want to but teach English right yes <laughs> mm. why because English for me sir is very interesting and and maybe I idolized my mom 
because she is very good when it comes to English language. And sometimes we, she is asking me, I mean, she communicates with me with the use of the English language. That's why, maybe, <laughs> that is the reason. And I find it enjoyable to l speak the language. What about you, Mr. June? Why they want to um, acquire the skills in speaking the language? Uh, English is just my <coughs> hobby. Mm -hmm. so, How long have you? Yeah. How long have you been learning English, Mr. June? Uh, I started to use English from 2007. 2007. Right. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Six years. Yeah, maybe. Yes, you've been studying English for six years. But I, I don't use textbook, so my grammar and sometimes my sentences are not good, not perfect, yeah. So my grammar should be corrected every time. <laughs> not systematical English. Come again, sir. Medical. Um, my English is not, um, my English skill is not made it by, no, I mean, not made it systemically. Mm. Can, can uh, you understand? Yes. <laughs> mm. You are not that, um, very good. That is just, um, in a simple sentence. So, uh, I heard there are some typhoon in Philippines. Yes. Right? There, yes. there were some very huge typhoon in Philippines, right? Yes. And it is called the Yolanda Typhoon. Yeah. So, how how is it going? Still no progress. <laughs> No but progress. No progress yet. But I, as a Filipino, I am always praying for them, and I am very thankful that a lot of you know foreigners are really helping our country. Just like Korean, uh, Korea, your country is, you know, they have they have sent us also um, goods like that. They helped the people from Tacloban. Tacloban City, sir, that's the place. So, are you Christian? Yes. Oh, good. I'm Christian too. But when I, when I face mm -hmm. these kinds of news, mm -hmm. I'm very curious why God allowed this situation to not rich country yes i mean europe like a uh, very developed countries very wealthy country don't have these kinds of disaster but philippine uh, or thailand or any some indonesia or those kinds of not rich country face these kinds of digester every time but there is so yes. i don't know why god allows, allows. these digest yeah these digester to only only to not rich country you understand my yes. question right yes yes yeah. So what what do you think? But for me, um, Mr. Jun, I don't like to um, question God. Maybe because um, He is giving this kind of situation for us. Maybe because um, to face new challenges like that. Maybe because there is a new lesson for us. That's why He is doing this. 
to our country. I have heard before that in Japan there is a tsunami also. Tsunami is a very rich country, right? And I think one month only they are already um, progressing. <laughs> They are again alive and, you know, and uh, things went normally after one month, I think, so in Japan. But here in the Philippines, see, just like what you have told me, it's not rich country. But I don't like really to question that why he is doing this to our country. Maybe this is just a challenge for us to uh, the government, to our country. Anyway, um, there are lots of people who are helping them. And I hope that people in Tacloban would also help themselves. Not, they should not, um, how do you call this? They should not depend to other people. But they should also help themselves. <laughs> Do you agree with me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understood your words. Yes. But uh, um, and I'm very sad. Yeah, I know the matter is help each other mm -hmm. as God's children. Help, help each other in God's yes. love. That is the matter. I yes. know it. But anyway, I'm sad. Uh, and for me, it is difficult to understand why. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just, just. It is too, too heavy, right? Yeah. Come again, it is true too. It is too heavy. Heavy. Ah, uh, too heavy. Yeah. Yes. Mm. I feel sad about it too, Mr. June, mm. because there are a lot of people who died. Right. I think there is an estimation of 8,000 to 10,000 people who died because of that typhoon. And I think typh Yolanda typhoon is one of the strongest typhoon in the whole world. Oh, shit. What about there in in your country, Mr. June? Sometimes we we also have some typhoon, but it is not that big, like mm -hmm. Philippine or uh, other Asian country. Because we are surrounded by China, Japan, Russia, so they they just shield shielded typhoon before Korea. So what in is in front of Korea? Yeah. What is prone there? What is what? Prone uh, disasters that you are encountering. Other disasters. Uh, what about earthquake? Maybe. Have no, no, no earthquake in mm -hmm. Korea, and sometimes flood. Flood. Mm. I see. So. So. If, I want to ask you. Yes. How is it work? How your work is. Is it good? Is it fun? Yes. Yes. Really? Yes, <laughs> really? Yes. How long hours do you work a day? Um, we started from six until ten thirty. But then how how long hours? Five four and a half hours. A day? Yes. It's good. It's very good. <laughs> But I am planning to have another work in the morning or in the afternoon. Ah, so you will do two works, right? Yes. Uh-huh. 
Aren't you tired? <laughs> Thank you. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Let's... Our time is over. Yes. Yes. All right. Nice and, meeting and you. Yeah. See you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.